Good morning. This is your media report for Monday, October 19th, 2015. I'm Sergeant Lori McGee, Media Relations Officer for the St. John Police Force. From Friday morning, October 16th, until today's date, police have responded to 249 calls for service. We would like to hear from anyone that has any information concerning any of our calls or investigations. We can be reached at 506 648 3333 at our email, police at stjohn.ca, or you can do it anonymously through the Provincial Crime Stoppers at 1 800 222 8477 or on their website at crimemb.ca. On Friday morning at 10 25 a.m., a 27 year old male was arrested for unlawful confinement, assault, and breach of an undertaking when he arrived to sign in at Peel Plaza. The charges are as a result of a, pre of a call the previous evening to Glenburn Court residents for a domestic dispute between the accused and a female victim. The accused was held in custody for a court appearance. At 8.08 p.m. Friday evening, a 38-year-old male was arrested on Union Street when he was initially stopped on foot by police and spoken to for his actions towards a motorist. It was then learned that there was an outstanding RCMP warrant for this male for probation violation. This was an endorsed warrant, therefore he was released and will appear in court at a later date. At 11.18 p.m., police were driving down Charlotte Street when they observed a male who was wanted for an assault. A 16-year-old male was arrested for assaulting another male the previous day outside of Brunswick Square. He was released on conditions he will appear in court at a later date. At 1.24 a.m., police were patrolling through a parking lot off of Sydney Street when they came across a vehicle which was running and noted a male opened the driver's door and partially fell out of the vehicle. He was checked and it was determined the 38-year-old driver was impaired. He was arrested for impaired driving. He was later released to appear in court at a later date. At 3.41 a.m., police were called to a Norman Drive residence for a report of an intoxicated male outside who was out of control and had to be restrained by relatives. The accused was taken into custody, and while being searched, he was found to be in possession of marijuana, which he was arrested for. He was later released and will appear in court at a later date. On Saturday at 7.10 a.m., police were called to a Metcalf Street apartment for a report of threats. The caller reports he was threatened by his 48-year-old neighbor. The accused was arrested for threats as well as being, unlaw being <laughs> unlawfully in the caller's apartment the previous evening. He was later released on conditions to appear in court at a later date. At 1.17 p.m., police were called to the Black River Road for a report of a break and enter into a summer camp. The caller reports that sometime over the past month, unknown persons entered the camp by forcing a side door open. A, tra a trail camera uh, was reported stolen and the incident remains under investigation. At 6.19 p.m. Saturday evening, a 19-year-old male was charged for assault after police were called to the county jail for a report of a male inmate spitting on another inmate. He'll appear in court at a later date. At 9.39 p.m., police were called to the Bolarama on Lancaster Avenue for a report of numerous car prowls. A 23-year-old female was arrested for mischief. She was released and will appear in court at a later date. At 2.17 a.m., a 25-year-old a female was arrested and was re after it was reported that she was assaulted. I'm sorry. A 25-year-old female was arrested after it was reported that she assaulted her boyfriend at an Anglo Crescent residence. She was later released on conditions to appear in court at a later date. At 3.15 a.m., police were called to the Bayview Credit Union off of Lockwoman Road for a report of a taxi driver who was assaulted. A 23-year-old male was located on foot on Bayside Drive where he was arrested for assault. The victim sustained minor injuries and the accused was later released to appear in court at a later date. On Sunday evening at 6.03 p.m., police were called to Sobeys on Lansdowne Avenue for a report of a shoplifter. A 21-year-old female was arrested for theft after she was observed by staff with a baby stroller full of merchandise that she did not pay for. The accused was released to appear in court at a later date. At 6.50 p.m., police were called to a residence on the Laurenville Road for a report of a break and enter. The caller reports the rear door to the residence was forced and several thousand dollars worth of jewelry and money was reported stolen. The incident remains under investigation with the Major Crime Unit. At 7.43 p.m., police conducted a motor vehicle check on, on Russell Street. It was confirmed to be a suspect vehicle involved in at least three drive-offs at local gas stations where a male left without paying for fuel. The male driver fit the description of the suspect, although he attempted to provide false identification. He was arrested at the scene, a stolen license plate was seized off the vehicle, a quantity of marijuana was located in the vehicle. The accused, age 32, was subsequently arrested for theft, possession of stolen property, possession of a narcotic, and obstruction. He was later released to appear in court at a later date. At 10.08 p.m. last evening, 
Police assisted the RCMP with a request to locate and arrest a male suspect in our jurisdiction who they wanted for threatening to attend Mount Allison University to shoot an ex-girlfriend. An 18-year-old male was eventually located on Princess Street where he was taken into custody without incident. He was turned over to the RCMP. This will conclude the media report for Monday, October the 19th. Have a good day and stay safe.